Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Vista OS X theme on your Vista machine. This is a very good theme. Um, it's a free theme. I personally I find this theme one of the best ones of the Mac. It's the original. Um, it was made by his original author, so it's not very glitchy. I mean. The only difference is, is the little dots that you use to close the computer, well, close the program, I should say, are on the right, when they shouldn't be on the left, but that's something minor. But this works really good, and it doesn't require unzipping folders to get this theme. The theme is, you know, is perfect. You know, you have your little rocket dock down here, and you have all your sound effects, everything changes on your computer, your login screen changes, your shutdown screen changes, your little vista symbol changes. So as you can see. It's it works great. And it requires one other program though. And that program is called Vista Visual Master. Now I haven't had much luck with this program in patching, so I don't really patch mine, but it does give you, but you can still run themes through it. You can, uh, when you get this program, you click download more Vista themes underneath theme patch, and then you just browse the site. It gives you a heck of a lot of themes to choose from. I mean, you have 15, I think it's like 15 pages of themes, and they're all free. But some do require unzipping folders and a little bit of experience, but not much. Almost anybody can do it. And if you have any questions whatsoever on how to get a theme, please let me know and I will be glad to help you. Um, well, let's get this program. What you'll do is you will go to download.com. Sorry, my internet's a little slow. I'm uploading a video on YouTube as we speak. And then we will type in, um, oh, what's it called? Vista Visual Master. And then you will down the, download the first one. Now this one, I guess I'll download this one. This one is a zipped folder. And I'll show you how to use the zip folder. But it is really quite simple. You want to save your file. Cancel this. Alright, yeah, you want to save your file. And then you want to open it, and then you have this. You uh, double click this, and then you just click run, and you run your application, and that's it. It's that simple. Then, once you're done with that, you have this, and then what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to get the, this uh, OS X theme. I took the liberty of copy and pasting the URL into a notepad because I don't feel like typing out a lot of that out again. I'm sure you guys don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the description. 
to help you guys out so you don't have to do a lot of typing but again open up your web browser I don't need that do I? put that in and then just give it a second it's a very big website you know it has a lot to give and a lot of pictures to load No, oh, why can't I find a page? Hold on, let's try this again. That's weird. There we go. It just glitched. And then you will go down. And you click download. And it does not work for work this one in particular does not work for a sixty four bit. Unfortunately. But they, no way. I'm sorry. They, it actually, it does. My bad. It does right here. But I'm gonna say you have to have Service Pack One, and you will click whichever one you have. If you have a 64-bit, then click 64-bit. If you have 32-bit, click 32-bit. Um, I have 32-bit, so I'm gonna click that. Then you'll see a box that comes up like this. You'll click uh, click here to download. Well, start download, and then you click open. Uh, just click open, and it'll go from there. It's a really, really good program. It's a free program, and it makes your computer look sick. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know. Um, the rock on uh, the dock at the bottom. It's a little weird. It takes a little getting used to. You know, with some things you have, you know, like, it's pretty cool. My favorite feature of all is, oh, uh, crap, it comes up here. That's pretty cool. You know. But, just drag and drop icons. Like, if I want to put this into here, I'll just drag and drop that in there, and it's right there. And if you want to go away, just drag it. And throw it away. And um, it works really good. Some you might have to modify. Like some programs don't like opening for some reason. So what you would have to do is you have to right click, and then make sure the properties it has to correct a link. You know, make sure you have a cor proper link. Like with C like I'll show you for like save C Cleaner didn't open. What I would do is I would go to C Cleaner. I would right click it, click on properties, and then, hmm, okay, I would, you see location, you would, I would right click that, copy that, and then I would right click this down here and go to doc item properties, and I would paste that underneath the link, and it'll make it so your program opens. Now, you know, some of them are going to come up with an error. You just have to do that once, and you're good to go. If you have any questions whatsoever, please ask. Please message me. If you like this video, please rate it. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know. If you like what you see, please subscribe. As there will be more videos to come. If you have any requests, please let me know. I thank you for watching, and have a nice day.